Hello and welcome to lesson 13 of the Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines modeling tutorials. In this tutorial we are going to look at moving the UVs. Um, someone said on the forums, Planet Vampire forums, about it. I'm sure I covered it briefly, um, very briefly, in one of the videos. I cannot remember which one. So, a uh, Christmas tutorial. Uh, I will not be testing it in game, um, as I'm confident it will work in game anyway. But um, with further ado, let's crack on. So, okay. First things first, let's open up and import Z model. We will go for Nox first, I'll show you because it's, these files are already set up from months ago when I made. Um, couple of little skins. So let's get to Santa Monica. Where are you, Knox? Hello, Mr. Knox. Knox X. Import. Right. Let's see. Yes. Right, as you can see, nothing on his handies. Right, so what I'm going to do is get the UV image editor up. Okay. Right, um, we're going to edit mode. So, I'm going to flip into Photoshop at the moment. As you can see here, this file is already pre-edited. Um, and it will show you that it's... Um, so, what I'm going to do is, is reload. Right, now... As you'll see, this hand here has been added. Um, I'll show you there, but the original, the original would look like that. So basically, what's happened is, you know, took the glyph, put it in. You know, I've copied and pasted that. You know, moved it along. You know, sort of thing. You know, you, you know, duplicated the hand and that. So the UVs for both hands at the top are on this part here ok so there we go that's it hands I'll show you now so we're going to move the UV so I am going to just hit C click there left mouse button hit C and I'm just going to zoom in on that hand we're only wanting the one hand to be affected um, I swear to God something's going wrong here, but... <sighs> <laughs> All we want is... Uh, there's nothing going wrong, just me being a silly billy. Right, so I'm just going to go here. Right, you can right click on the verse, but I'm just going to press L, hover over. Yeah, just make sure the bottom of the hand isn't selected. If it is... And, um, whoa, we don't want that control Z. So I'm just going to hit L. Yeah, see, control Z. Yeah, so that's it. Now I want to go here, so I'm just going to um, hold my middle mouse wheel in. You know, I just scroll and zoom in the mouse wheel. So you would have this. Yeah, I'm just going to hit L hit G. Now what you want to do is, I'll just show you, look at the positioning. Right, I've just did that. Look at the positioning. Yeah. Now that's not perfect there, but it's how it is. So hit G. And we're coming along. Coming along, coming along. And we just want to get it you know, a bit of trial and error here, so because you want the, the fingertips like hit your big enter key to just kick that in. There you go. All right, and that's all it is. Duplicating it, putting it there. Now it's easy enough to do that with the hand in this file because it had the, the space initially. The UV's been, you know, and as you'll see.
and that's how you do it on separate hands. Now um, you could duplicate this again for the other hand but I don't see why you would if you wanted to actually move it. Um, Now what? Let's do that while we're in there. So I just Yep, just select the layer. Duplicate layer. I'm just gonna cut hand to copy. I'm just gonna move that up. As you can see, that's an extra one there, but I'll put a little bit of space between. Right, file. What I am going to do here is, I am just going to colorize that, just to give you an idea. So I'll colorize, there it is, pinkish hand. <laughs> I think that'll do it. File, save as, good old. You know, I won't talk about, you know, you can, you know how to do DDSB now if you've been following the tutorials, that is not this, I'm just showing you how to edit. Right, so there we are, we've got that back into there. I'm going to go, image, reload, you see, and that brings up that. Now we're going to go to the other hand, because just go to edit mode. I'm just going to hit A. Make sure it's deselected. Hit L. Now you can see that's the bottom of the hand. Hit A again. A deselect. I'm just going to rotate it about. Yep. There you go. Hit L. I'm just going to show you quickly over. Like that. Because you're going to be judging it, aren't you, for the fingertips and such, right there. Um, but say that that's if you're happy with it. Obviously, you know, you'd be having to, you know. But that that's just showing you the movement of the UV, you know, his hand here compared to that. Yeah, and that's that. Okay, so that's that. You would just like file. Export it. I'll just go to Bloodlines X. That's Jack's folder. We'll be going in there in a minute. Oh, where are you, Nox? Select your MDL. Whoop! Not that one, that one. And that'll be that. The new UV coordinates saved to the model. Okay, so I'm going to go to File, New, Erase All. Um, I've got a file already present with Jack in it, so what I want you to do is, is you know, just import it. Well, you could import his model, this is just to show you. So, as you can see, that's the blend that um, the finished what it should look like at the end. Yeah, as you can see, you've got like tribal tattoo there, tribal tattoo there, full arm, that. You know, slave tattoo like so I'm going to fail now erase that and then what we're going to do is because obviously I've got the edited um, target file already in the directory I'm going to import his dot x because that's the original extraction and you will see it's all messed up so what we want is here the UV image editor yeah you've got the UV image editor as you can see all that just you know it's not great now you can see he's um, you know that's all off you know but again the one right Oof. <laughs> so do that anyway so um let's zoom out 
So say we'll deal with the back first. This is just briefly because what I've done, I'll explain the file first before I start doing anything. What I've done is it's made the document with this amount wider. Yeah. So as you can see here, I've duplicated it. So I can't remember the exact dimensions, but um, it'll be the dimensions of that full selection where Marquee Tool and Photoshop. And that's basically what I've done is, is I've then added the width, moved the file about, you know, obviously, and then I'll, I've accommodated that. Yeah. Um, to add, you know, new elements. Um, so what we'll do is, as you can see, I've selected these back. I am going to hit L. So that now selects this. I'm going to hit L again in the UV image editor. I am going to hit G to grab, and then I'm just going to use my arrow key to move it. You could use your mouse, but I'll just use the left arrow. Um, centralize it as much as you can with this. I'd probably go about there because hit the big enter key. Yeah, and then we're just going to S, X. Now I'm going to try this. That was my S, X, and I'm using the arrow key to scale it. Um, now th th there'll be some stuff that I haven't selected on the model I'm just giving you an idea here um, and I'll hit G again and I'm just going to come along like that. and um, I do want it as central there. so as you'll see there it is that's how it should look like right you can see his arms are messed up so quickly I'm just going to drop into edit mode uh, I won't be completing this it's just a, sh a quick um, hit L All right, and as you can see in the image editor that was middle mouse held in yeah and scrolling my middle mouse obviously to zoom now what I want is um, hit L hit G use my right up Right. So I'm going to try to centralize it. I'm not really worried. S, X. And as you can see, I'm using the left arrow button. Um, yeah. Just say that. And, um, Hit tab, that'll take me back in. As you can see, there's, you know, that's actually worked it all right on that sleeve. You know, it's got his shirt properly still there, but that's because, well, we've not edited that part yet. Um, bits here, you know, we'll get to it. So we'll do the other arm. It's, uh, Right, so hit A to D select, I'm just going to hover over that arm, hit L, hit L in there, grab it, now we're pushing this UV over, you know the initial selections um, are in them places, they're bang on, so you select the arms, you move the UV if you made these extra elements, so let's go there, scale, whoop, X and then I'm just whoop using the right arrow key for this whoop don't want that right I'm not going to do that I'm just going to move it over G <sighs> Damn. bit of a rush here because it's Christmas and hit enter and I'm going to go S X to scale it can I get it to go in a bit? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Hit that. Hit. This is just to give you the idea. Um, right, commit that. So you can see, up oh, there, there's an issue. That would be, you know, selected. You'd be selecting, you know, um, show you, go back a step. I'm going to go into face mode and shift tab, not control tab, 
let's go into faces. I'm just going to go backwards. Yeah, and then I want to be here. Control Z. So I'd probably have moved the shot first and done the arms last. Um, but such is life. So you hit an L, control, you see, and that's where this will be, so you're going to select that separately. You know, um, I would just, well, we'll get to that. Anyway, I'm just going to hit A, come out, whoop, L. Right, so we've got this, I'm just moving that across quick, just, right, so S, X, I'm not really bothered how this goes because it's just showing, right, so you've got that, this here, we'll forget that for the moment, let's just hit A, um, Right, so you can see in there that's selected. So I'm just going to hit L, move that across. Just say let's, uh, we're going to do that there. That, that's all I'm interested in, yeah, at the moment. But there's going to be more here, as you can see. So. Yeah, you know, obviously you'd be selecting that with the other stuff, but as you can see it, let's just show you that you're moving this. I'll just put that there. This is just to show you, obviously you're going to be making better adjustments in this, but there you have it. Yeah, now you've got that part at the front that you might want to be doing, but I haven't moved the shirt yet, so, you know. I'd be doing this afterwards, you know, once I've done the front. So that's a bit silly how I've done this, but it's just showing you that how you move the UV will do this. Yeah. L. Oh, no, we don't want that. No, and we don't want to be doing that. So, L. Right, nah. A. You know, don't forget you can hide the model while doing it. We've seen that in previous lessons. No, 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 no. But anyway. You know, there is bits here that... L. <laughs> you know what? L. Yeah? So we want all them bits. It might be trial and error, you know, really, because, well, you're going to have to select the parts of the ship. That. Let's come here. Right, so yeah, you got that L. Right, I'm just going to hold control and look around it. I could probably have pressed A as well. <laughs> um, as you'll see. SX right and then we're just gonna hit G and move it a bit we'll, we'll do that for the moment right just give the idea and there we have it yeah so it's it's you know, probably best to do that first, then you know you work on the arms and, you know, this bit, these bits up here, you know, um,
like that there as you can see so just hit L G use me right you know I'd, I'd scale that S X Um, I'm just going to move it there for the moment and then just I'm just going to hit scale as a scale and then G and move it up I, I just well, not the best one tutorial but as you can see what it's doing yeah And if you zoom in here, you see this. Just do that. Yeah. Now, obviously, you're going to want to be getting, you know, stuff a little bit better. But that's how you'll be moving the UV a bit. Oops. Excuse me. You can. Well, if you were to do that, this will be a nice, whoop, as you'll see this will add in stuff in a moment, or not, <laughs> it's not adding it in. Oh yes it is. So as you can see, that there is that there. Yeah. But it's not on because of dragging that felt about. And as you see, it disappears. Yeah. Don't forget you save that model, that would be there. Right, so there we are. So it's a matter of uniformly. You know, I could just Hit A, hit scale, go right down, and um, that would be that. Yeah, looks horrible because obviously it's taking up very little of the texture. Um, Control Z to go back. So that that's generally that. You know, there's stuff like um, well, you got the shoes. I'm going to come out. Obviously, I, I'm not really. Um, Obviously, obviously, I like that word. Obviously, uh, <laughs> right. So you got this. I mean, I should have made this into maybe a big tutorial or something, but just I, I just have no interest in bloodlines at the moment. Um, so that there would be this. Yeah. So as you can see. With adding in the extra um, with in the actual um, target file document, you know, where we've added extra elements, it's moved it. So I'm just you can hit A or L. I would hit L. Um, so we could just do that. I'm just going to move it like that because, well. I'm not first SX so yeah and now you got like this here well just do that you know you can you can manipulate it so now you got like one shoe fixed you know and um, we'll deal with the backs in a minute Probably be best selecting all shirt ones, but to be fair, um, it's just to show you. And I'm just going to scale it on the X like that. Right mouse button, grab that. Look about. Whoop. Maybe want to bring it down a bit. Whoop. Now you have that. 
Yeah. He souls. Obviously. Obviously. Uh, I'm just going to select. Make sure I get the soul. Yeah. Then I'm going to hit L. Now I've got the soul. As you can see, the soul's out of place. Now this soul. If I can get. Holding in shift and hold it and get no control Z one hold in shift and try and get the face share like that. Hit L, select it. Now that will be because like the UV is in the same place. That's where it was. I'm just gonna do that. What? Nah, I'm gonna do that. Or you can hit A or you can hit L. Well, I would hit A in there because you've got two sets. Definitely got them all selected. Then we're going to hit G. Move it this. D, 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 D. Um, and as you can see, that's pretty much went in. Yeah. Now we're still working on, you know, the back bit here. So let's go to the edit. Just hit A to deselect all. Hit that. Hit L. That is going to go there. Um, I'm not sure if I can select the same part here. I'm going to hold shift. Grab that face. Nope. nope. Two steps back. L, so you got that again, because these are duplicates. I'm just going to hit A in here to select all, move it across. Yeah, as you see, moves it the both because it's on, you know. S, whoop. Don't want to lose too much. I'll just do that, and that will be that. And that's the shoes. Pretty much, you know. Just so I would save that, you know. Um, right, let's hit eighty. Select. What else is there? Oof. Well, you got his hands. You know. Um, So you got the tops and the bottoms that you can do. Um, as you can see, just whoop. All right, so you've got the top, yeah. All right, so I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to hit A. Now, I'd, I'd select both hands at the top before I do anything. Hold shaft and then just hit L. Oopsie, that's there as well selected. Not good. Hold shift. Yeah. So that size so got that. You know, you're gonna have to fiddle about it. Um, I would hit A here. Hit it twice, so it's like this. You know, generally, you're gonna have to scale it on the X, S, X, so it becomes. You see what I'm doing? Obviously, you're going to have to fine tune this. But, you know, that's the general idea. Um, about the same on the other hand for the fingernails. Now you select the bottom part of it. This, obviously, um,
bit further than what I want to actually go with it. Got that part. Control Z. Make sure that's deselected. Nope. I need a face. That'll be the other side. I know it is. It's just not. I should turn off back facing. There we go. <laughs> oh, and I'm just going to come in like this. Hit A. Make sure I'm just going to drag it across because I'm not too fussy about positioning. And um, SX. Make it smaller. Do that. So it's like, you know, sort of like. It's down to you to move the stuff about to make it look right. You know, I'm just generally showing that um, I just took a lot more time. Right, let's go to edit. Let's go to. Out for selecting the trousers. Got the trousers selected. Just make sure it's like that. I'm just going to hit A. You can hit L as well for all length. Um, I'm just going to centralise that for the moment. Scale in the X. So you've got that bit that's still out, but we're getting to that. Yep. So yeah, if I just hit A, then it's all. So centralise it. So we want to keep it the same height. So I'm going to hit G and use the arrow to move it. Central. Then I'm just going to hit Enter, S and X. I'm just going to scale it down with my mouse button like that. Let's say that's that. Belt's not exactly centre but then maybe that's my view but you see how that moves about whoop right mouse button I'll hit G right I bet you know it's <laughs> you see, you're just hitting G, hit your arrow keys. So I'd probably be happy with that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, is just come round, try to get a hold of 
you know, you could use that key, well, use that, that I used before. Yeah, to grab his buttocks area. I don't tend to have it on because I'm working with vertices and that's where I don't grab the, the verts. Oh, you've seen it in the other videos. I'm going to select. So, right, we've got that. And as you can see here, I am just going to so do that. Got that. I'm just going to hit A here, select all, hit G, move it across, left that all button, set that, hit S, hit X, wolf. What in the hell was that? It went wrong. Do that. S, X. Guess I never committed it. Just giving you the general idea, and that was how you were able to add. See, there's obviously something out here a bit. So I can't decide: is it the jeans, or is it the? I would say it's the jeans going off this part here, that, um, moving the belt area. So let's go to edit, let's go to that. L. And um, Nope. <laughs> Let's do a little bit. And yeah, obviously this bit, you're going to have to just fiddle with it. it it's, but I'm just going off this. So. Doubt that went the wrong way. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to hit G and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Go do that. Hit enter. But that's a general idea. Um, not a lot more that you could do with that. You know, like for the scope of this tutorial, like looking, but that's how you'd move your UVs about. Um, you know, uh, you know, you're going to have bits like this here, um, but that's where you're going to have to observe the model beforehand. And well, nope. You know, like that. I'll just go here, hit A, come along. That's going to be on the rim here, sort of thing. And SX, do that. And that's just general, quick. Um, edit, but that's showing that you know. Could maybe even move it there if you want to add a bit of um, something different like that, like for that part of the texture, um, and that will take up the new coordinates like this. You know that's <clears throat> you know obviously you're just going to have to. Um, Seems to be my favourite word today, obviously. But, you know, not a lot more that I can say. Um, that there, I'm not terribly happy with it, but I think it'll do. 
you know, I'd be here fiddling with it and no point me doing that. Anyway, I think um, I'm going to bring this to an end. That just gives you an idea of the, the moving it about. Um, but if we have a look there, right, and then we'll go fail. Quite a jack. We'll just see that his belt's actually on the other Reddit. Exactly the same. And going off that and that there, so. Yeah. It was not something that I was really terribly worried about the last time. Plus, who, maybe he doesn't like his belt straight. Maybe he had his belt buckle off a little bit of, yeah, you know, was it 9th or 10th generation? You know, um. <laughs> Said nothing. Yeah, um. As you can see. Didn't even notice it. <laughs> oh well. If it's not been noticed in six months. Well, that's as simple. There's a fix. Um, but that's it. Anyway. Um, That's the one that was released. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Adios amigos. I uh, hope that helps. Um, don't forget to save your um, stuff as you go in increments and um, hope to see some stuff from people. Anyway, adios.